tell me what holiday is coming up. That's right, Christmas is coming soon. I wonder what Cubby Bear is doing for Christmas. Let's call for him and find out, ready? One, two, three, Cubby! Oh, hi everyone. Oh, Cubby, you look sad, what's wrong? I don't think I'll be getting any gifts for Christmas this year. Really? Well, that doesn't sound right. What about Timothy? He's your best friend. Timothy is going far away to his aunt and uncle's house for Christmas. He's been busy packing for the trip all week. I don't think he'll remember to get me anything. <laughs> Lovey. Hi, everyone. Oh, hi, Lovey. Oh, no. Cubby, what's wrong? I'm not getting any Christmas gifts this year. Well, that's not true, Cubby. I know you'll get at least one gift. Really? From whom? Me, of course. I'll give you a Christmas gift, Cubby. I promise. Oh, thank you, Lovey. You're such a good friend. Actually, I'm going to go get it for you right now. That's a great idea, Lovey. Then we can watch you open it. I'll be right back. I'm so excited for the gift from Lovey Lamb. Merry Christmas, Cubby. Here's the gift I promised. I have to go check on one more thing, but you can open it while I'm gone. I'll be right back. Well, thank you, Lovey. Uh, Miss Jenna, will you help me open it? My paws aren't very good at opening presents. Oh, sure, Cubby. Oh, it's an apple, an apple. Apples are my favorite snack. Lovey, thank you. How did you remember that apples are my favorite snack? <laughs> Cubby Bear, I already knew apples are your favorite snack, but that's not even your real gift. Your real gift won't fit in a box. It's over there. Look. <gasps> Lovey, you got me a little apple tree? Yes. It's a gift from both Timothy and me. Soon, the tree and the apples will start to grow, and you can pick as many as you like, any time you want. Oh, this is the best Christmas gift ever. Thank you so much, Lovey. Oh, here's a big bear hug for you. Oh, oh Cubby, did you get a Christmas gift for Lovey? Oh, well, uh, not yet, but I promise to get you one soon, Lovey. <laughs> okay, Cubby, I'll look forward to it. Lovey, you did such a good job of keeping your promise to give a gift to Cubby for Christmas. And Cubby, I know you're going to do a good job of keeping your promise to give a gift to Lovey, but you should work on that. Merry Christmas, you two. We'll see you later. Goodbye, everyone. Merry Christmas. Goodbye, boys and girls. Merry Christmas. Bye, Cubby. Bye, Lovey. All right, Cubbies. Well, Cubby Bear and Lovey Lamb are doing a great job of learning about keeping their promises. Today in our lesson, we're going to talk about a very, very special promise that God kept to us at Christmas time. Bye, Cubbies. We'll see you next week.